As the heat soared into triple digits in parts of Nebraska today, a few cooling shelters provided some relief and safety tips to the North Platte community. KNOP's Harmon Johnson has the details. Staying cool can be a tough task during the extreme heat that North Platte is facing. But one way to beat the extreme heat is to come down to one of the new community cooling centers. The cooling centers created by the West Central District Health Department and Hope Esperanza allow a place for those in the community who have nowhere to go to escape the heat. So when you come in, we have the air conditioner on, we have the sunscreen, we have water, some fruit, some snacks, um, game stations set out, um, family movies that can be played, um, a craft station, so just ability to get out and just, you know, spend some family time away from the heat for a while. With two cooling station locations in North Platte, the organizations look to serve as many people as possible. However, if you cannot make it to either location while out and about, there are a few signs that point to overexposure to the heat. Some of the things that you want to watch for when you're um, exposed to that heat would be dizziness, lightheadedness, um, you know, those kind of things are going to be something that you really need to um, take seriously. The cooling centers also remind the community to not only watch out for yourself, but also for those people and pets around you. Watching out, you know, for the pets, the aging population, and our children also. When it gets too hot, they're not able to notice their, their body changing, those symptoms coming on, making sure kids aren't in closed spaces like the car for any amount of time during this extreme heat. So grab your water bottle and head outside while the sun still lasts. But remember, if you need help, you can visit the West Central District Health Department or right here at Hope Esperanza, where they're providing everything from snacks to sunscreen. Reporting from North Platte, I'm Harmon Johnson, KNOP News 2.